Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. Today we're taking a look at the 2018 G.I. Joe Convention exclusive Python Paraviper 2 pack. We got this as a nice poly bag little version here. Got two figures inside here. Both of them are the same. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and open this thing up and uh, take a look at the figure and do a quick review for y'all. We're going to start off just by uh, slicing this thing open. Blup, blup, blup. And we'll dump this thing out and see what we got. Cool. So you get uh, two of the figures. They come polybagged as well. A little bit of tape on each one of them. So we're just going to pick one of these at random and I'm going to say it's this one <laughs> and we'll set this one to the side and go from there so they do come with the uh, file cards here go ahead and open this thing up real quick nice little piece of tape here holding it on and for some reason i can't get to come off there we go <laughs> So we get two file cards, one for each figure here. So they are the same. We'll throw that one to the side here. Uh, you can pause it right now if you'd like to take a look at the actual written description. I'm not going to read it for you, but uh, there you go. Very nice. Uh, standard, you know, cardboard backing on these things, but still very cool. <clears throat> uh, in a couple, one of our previous videos, we did a review of the Paraviper Officer. Uh, this one is just the regular Paraviper. Go ahead and slice the tape off of this guy and see what we got. Very cool looking. And the uh, weapons come in a nice little accessory kit here, also with the piece of tape on it. So let's cut that as well. come out there we go <clears throat> so what we get here is a nice little knife a machine gun the cool helmet the two flippers a pair of goggles the figure stand and the figure itself so this thing looks pretty nice here start here with the figure stand here just a traditional 25th anniversary figure stand we got the nice raised cobra logo on the top two count them one two foot pegs on the front we've got the python para viper code name so pretty standard though nothing really special about that but uh, still glad that they're there the accessories and weapons and everything are pretty much the same as what came with the uh the para viper officer just uh, slightly different colors like the helmet but we'll start here with the little knife not a lot of details on it but still a nice little knife and on the side of the actual figure itself on his boot you got a nice little holster here the knife just slides right in there and uh, locks in place here so you don't really have to worry about losing it here so that's always nice Set that to the side. We've got a slightly different submachine gun than we've seen before for the uh, the officer figure. Still a pretty nice little detail work here. If I can get the light to shine on it right here. Pretty basic, but uh, it works for what it is, so cool. We also have the same pair of goggles here. Got a nice little translucent visor on them there so you can kind of see through them uh, the actual goggle itself fits over top of the helmet pretty easily uh, you can do it uh, just up like that or you can uh, adjust it to come down over the actual eyes themselves like so uh, i think i like it a little bit better above like this i think it looks really cool so 
yeah, I'll probably end up keeping it like that, but uh, you, you've got options anyways. While we're at it, we'll take a look at the helmet itself. Uh, pretty nice looking here, actually. Uh, it's in... So it looks like what they've done is taking the, uh, the gold helmet that they used for the officer and just painted it black. You can see a little bit where the, uh, the gold highlights are actually coming through here. Still basically the same thing. Some nice gold accents on the back here. Fitted over top of his head like so. Works pretty well. You've got some cool hoses here that attach to these different points. Uh, we'll hook them up in a little while, but uh, there you go. <clears throat> there is the cool helmet. We do have two of these little uh, frogman flippers here. Nice little foot peg on the bottom of them, so uh, you just kind of stick them on the bottom of the feet. Uh, also on the back of the legs here, you also have a little peg. So these actually peg onto the back here. So they can actually uh, jump out of airplanes with their flippers on them. That's really a nice little added bonus touch there. So that's a really cool, but you do get two of those as well. Then let's uh, zoom in a little bit here and take a look at the figure. This is uh, basically the same figure as the Paraviper Officer. And again, we've seen the uh, original Paraviper before, but this is the nice new one in the Python Patrol colors. Uh, the actual color scheme is black and red with the red stripes here. The color actually works really well. As far as detail goes, everything is pretty much the same as it was on the para viper officer um, but you've got some extra accessories here so the actual uh, jump harness here is different than what we see on that uh, officer and this one actually looks really nice we've got the nice cobra logo on the back there's a lot of really cool details all over this thing here uh, and you can see these hoses all over the place as well uh, they actually hook up to the actual helmet here uh, there are four holes on the bottom of the helmet, and I don't know exactly which holes these hoses go in, so we just kind of play it by ear, but you just kind of stick them in there. You may have to kind of wiggle it around a little bit to get them to go in. And then these other hoses just kind of connect as well, and I'm not doing a really good job of this, it seems. There, that one went in pretty well. I'll take this one and stick it at the top here, maybe. Yeah, some of these work a little bit better than the other ones, so uh, I don't know. I'm not going to actually bother hooking them all up right now. But you just kind of connect them as you see fit, and... Uh, Plug them in and you end up with four hoses there. But um, yeah, some of them are smaller than the other ones. So they fit in the small holes easily. They don't really fit too well in the big holes, but uh, that's okay. You can take your time a little bit and uh, get it to fit better, I'm sure. You can also actually just unplug them from the back. Well, actually you can't. They are attached in there pretty well, so you can't actually unattach them. Uh, so yeah, just uh, play around with it a little bit yourself to see how best those connect. If you need to, you can uh, heat this thing up a little bit and make it a little bit easier to pop these things in. But once you get them in there, they should stay in pretty well and uh, shouldn't come out. But they are a little bit difficult to get in there, so... Any which way, moving on, uh, we also have these cool little, uh, I don't know, fin looking things on his uh, arm bracers here. Also got an altimeter, it looks like. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Some uh, magazines here on the side. I do really like this uh, whole jumpsuit get up here. Very nice. And he's got the traditional uh, paratrooper piece of... Uh, this thing going around his legs so I've never really understood some of that those straps and all but uh, it looks cool regardless and you can just pop this thing off if you want to and uh, 
get in there to the actual figure itself. I'm going to leave it attached because it looks cooler. As far as uh, articulation goes, the head does spin at 360 degrees, uh, but it has a tendency to pop off like that right there. So you really only get about 180 before you have to really worry with that. Shoulder joints are traditional ball and swivel. Ball and swivel at the elbow joints as well. And standard, uh, just regular swivel here at the wrists. Don't look like we have any side to side or anything like that. We do have the uh, chest articulation here as well. Uh, and the ab crunch feature is in place as well. The way they have this uh, jump vest thing kind of attached here is pretty good. That actually doesn't connect all the way around, so you're not losing any mobility here. So that's always a nice little extra point here. Uh, standard T-hook at the waist. You will kind of be limited by these straps here, so you'll have to kind of adjust them to get them to go as far as you want to, but uh, they slide up and down pretty well. Just kind of have to get them over those knee joints. And then you can go side to side as much as you want there. Double knee joints as well, which is nice. And then a ball and swivel here at the uh, ankle joint. So all in all, really nice looking here. The color scheme really does work pretty well. It's uh, slightly understated, if you ask me. But it works really well. It looks really nice. Nice and clean lines. So yeah, all in all, it just looks really nice. The gold color on his costume here also works pretty well. It's got a slight sheen to it, so it's more metallic looking than it. And I don't know how well it shows up here on the screen or not, but uh, it does look really nice. As far as uh, arming this guy up, we'll just throw his helmet on there, throw his goggles on the helmet. Not going to connect the... Uh, the little pipes here but uh, knock yourself out there you can do that if you want to uh, you can also take and attach your fins on the back side of the legs here and we'll grab his submachine gun here and there you go you got a really cool paraviper paratroop trooper <laughs> Aerial, aerial assault trooper is what it's got listed at, but uh, yeah, this is an, this is actually a pretty cool looking figure here. Um, I like it actually a lot. I do wish the uh, the pipes were a little bit easier to get on here, but uh, like I say, you just have to kind of play around with that a little bit and see. You can uh, feed them up under his arms and get a couple of these in pretty easy. Those bottom two go in uh, pretty pretty easily, like I say. Uh, the top two don't easily so, and then this thing sometimes will pop off. <laughs> but all in all, this is actually a pretty cool figure. Uh, a lot of accessories here. It's a nice design overall, and it looks nice and clean. So um, yeah, I actually like this one pretty well here. Again, it does come in a two-pack, so you may have to... Uh, it may be easier to get them individually as opposed to the two-pack. Um, on the aftermarket, these things run about uh, 70 to 80 bucks for the two-pack. Um, I'm sure you can probably get the individual figures a little bit cheaper than that, so that might be the route to go. But they are cool looking, and uh, they work really well here. So, yes, I would say this one would be... Um, yeah, more than recommended, but not quite highly recommended, but pretty close to it, so and do with that what you will. But I'm impressed with it, and I like it, so very cool looking. Okay, so it took a little bit of fussing with it, but I finally did get those uh, air hoses attached to his helmet, and uh, it looks a little bit better that way, and um, I actually am pretty impressed with this thing here. It uh, does look kind of really cool. <laughs> I like the fact that it's uh, got the translucent plastic and uh, has just enough kind of bleed through from that black plastic on the helmet to kind of uh, cloud that up around where it connects. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, really cool looking. So 
yeah, take a little bit extra time and uh, kind of get those hoses in there good and tight, and uh, I think you'll you'll like it a lot better that way. So, good luck to you. That's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of the Python Patrol Paraviper. If you'd like to see something else in the future, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you'd like to see, and uh, we'll do our best to try to get it in front of it. So, uh, Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you uh, dig what's going on. If not, then uh, yeah, well, we'll see you maybe in the next video. Until next time, yo Joe.